What's up? This is Jessica Sanchez, and I am here with Starkey on a mission and, uh, in the Philippines, Manila. And uh, today I tried to accomplish just spreading awareness to all the kids that are my age that it doesn't take very much to help change the world. Bill Austin maintains that alone you can only do so much and together you can change the world. We can change the world. Our model is community-based hearing healthcare, and how you can implement that successfully is only through teamwork. We take volunteers. We cannot do our model alone. So therefore, the partnerships that we have, the teamwork that we have, with UST, Simbahayan, Latran, uh, we have medical MMI, Medical Missions Incorporated, we have Baha'i Bata, it takes everyone and the partnership and the collaboration for true success. My name is Henry Mai. Uh... I manage the otoscopy station, so we ensure that all patients that go through to the fitting station have clean ears. Ears are clean of uh, infection and they're clean of wax. If they come through to us and they've got infections, we'll clean it up and then they're also given medication and given advice before they proceed to the um, fitting area. Uh, it's been very, very successful. Um, good team on the ground. Uh, we've all worked together. These guys from USD have been very, very great, and so has everyone else. And it's it's flown very, very well. And you know, we've seen over nearly 500 patients, and um, it's been very easy. It's very, very fulfilling. Uh, I mean, we on the road for a long time. It's hard work, but uh, what we do. The reaction on the faces of people that we help, you know, just spurs us on to do more. Ano po, parang saya-saya po kasi nila pag kunwari nakarinig na po sila, parang iba na yung light news, parang iba na yung feeling nila. Yun, meron mga bata kasi na parang makukulit, tapos una ayaw, tapos pagka na, na, na puwersa ninyo siya, na parang na-convince nyo na pumunta at saka magbalinis, tapos pagka nakarinig na, Ayun, parang kung sa'yo sa'yo inspiring. Nung una, 
requirement lang siya sa amin. Tapos so parang kami nagdadalawang isip. Pero nung nandito na, nung nandun na, ginagawa na namin, masaya pala. Kasi syempre pag nag-aaral ka lang, parang yung mga, yung mga cases na pinapresent sa'yo, parang examples lang, parang mga imaginary. Pero pag nandito, parang may mga ganong tao pala na kailangan ng tulong at may mga tao din pala na willing to move. Our target goals are to have uh, every person who can benefit from a hearing aid that is a candidate for a hearing aid and a candidate for amplification meaning increasing sound that everyone who's a candidate can be fit and can prosper can learn how to use the hearing aid how to insert the ear mold volume power everything and then go home and implement it and practice it we give them a year supply of batteries so for me our target goal was to fit as many patients any as many beneficiaries as possible uh, who can benefit from hearing aids, and I think we've done just that. Today our planned target recipients are from Payatas. Uh, we have almost 600 patients from Payatas, and these patients, for us, we've been so excited because we've been wanting to come here and to take care of the patients from Payatas and partner with Pahai Bata for a very long time, ever since we heard. Um, in my first meeting with Anna and, and Pahai Bata, I was so impressed with their strategy because they knew that the end goal is sustaining the gift of hearing and connecting them to the community, not just giving the gift of hearing. So for me, this is just the beginning. Manila has been uh, one of Starkey's recipients ever since 2011. So from there, we've been branching out. This year, we went to Jensan, Palawan, Lipa, and Manila. Uh, next year, we may be visiting other regions, other their places, um, meeting new people, meeting new sponsors to work with. Manila is considered the hub. So people coming from all over, uh, Laguna, Zambales, uh, Mindanao are coming if they miss the, if anybody misses the mission at Jensen Palawan Lipa, they're asked to come to Manila. My name is Jennifer Evans and I'm manager of international programs for the Starkey Hearing Foundation. And my job is to ensure quality control on our program and standardize our data collection and processes to make sure all of our international programs are doing you know, what our model is. So I, w I oversee uh, programs in 34 countries around the world, um, but really the Philippines is our one of our flagship programs, especially for Asia. So we're always excited to be here in Manila. Uh, we know we're gonna show up. We have great volunteers from UST and the mission runs very smoothly. So we're uh, fitting just under 500 patients today and we're probably going to be done before 5 o'clock. So that really never happens anywhere else in the world except for the Philippines. I actually run our aftercare program and our aftercare program ensures that patients have access to follow-up care after they get fit with their new hearing aids at the phase two hearing mission. So immediately following the hearing aid fittings, patients know where to go and who they can call if they have any problems, if their hearing aids break, they need more batteries, we're there to take care of them and make sure they can sustain the gift of hearing. Well, it's actually a year-long preparation, starting from identification of patients, getting ear mold, ear impressions, making them into ear molds, then setting up the venues. And the work doesn't stop there. You have to do, again, an aftercare after they're fitted uh, to make sure that everybody's hearing properly. There was a study done by Better Hearing Philippines. They said that the prevalence of hearing loss in the country is around 8%. So roughly, if you have a 100 million population that translates to around 8.8 .8 million, I think there should be an awareness that to help these hearing impaired people to improve their quality of life. It's very positive. We were able to serve more than, I think, 500 patients from Payatas. Uh, they went through the process. They were screened. Now this is phase two. What is so nice is they have phase three. After being fitted, we will now look after fitting, so it's the aftercare program, so it never ends. This is our fifth mission. The first four missions were done in USC. Uh, it began in 2011. Starkey Hearing Foundation is the only one we know who gives everything for free. Hearing aids, the batteries, uh, and the aftercare, and the volunteers, and their generosity that has kept us going. And as you can see, up to the last patient, they're still here, always be here for starting. Uh, we have realized that this is one segment of our society that has been uh, 
uh, shall we say, not really abandoned, but not really paid, being paid attention to. Pati ako sobrang saya. Actually, kanina habang finifit siya, hindi ko pa alam po ano yung reaction. Pero after na ma-fit siya, tapos nakita ko naging curious siya doon sa mga naririnig niya. Tapos nagsalita na siya ng mama at papa. Sobrang natuwa ako. Kasi first time ko narinig sa kanya yung nagumaya ng mga mama at papa na parang seryosong nagsasalita na siya. Kaya hindi ko napigilan umiyak ka na sa harapan ng mga doctors. I did. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. Um, we saw some people cry. We saw little kids. We saw um, elders. So, yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, ever since I was young, I always wanted to do like charity work and I'm able to do that. Um, and also with the charity that is very, very close to me and, and what I do, I wouldn't be where I'm at without my hearing. So this means a lot to me to be here. I wish Starkey so much and more. I mean, they're already doing amazing. Their galas are always amazing and they have such amazing like team members and Tani and Austin, they're just amazing. So I, mean, I don't know how to get any better, but I wish them so much more in the future. I probably will. <laughs> I hope I do. I mean, um, I hope I get invited to that. I mean, I always love coming to the Philippines uh, once, and then I like love, you know, just being with the star key. Like I said, to all the young people out there that are like, around my age, it doesn't take very much to help change the world for the better. Um, and yeah, yeah, come out and help. Come. <laughs> but for success, for us, it's not just giving the gift of hearing, it's sustaining the gift of hearing. So to me, although today is successful, we will see the true success in the future when patients that were fit today are actually going to school, getting jobs, being included in society, contributing, hearing their family say I love you, and actually being part of the community. Our job is to connect people to the community, and to me that is true success. I would just like to thank Baha'i Bata, uh, Anna Dizon and, and, and Pastor Joe for all their incredible support of Stark Hearing Foundation and for allowing us to change lives and of, the, of the people of Payatas and to connect those people to the families, their communities, their school, and their work. And we hope that these hearing aids can truly change their life. So